Hey guys, I have no idea what happened to the first part of this video, but this video is for the double crochet tutorial. It will also show you how to end your work. So let's begin. Start by making a slip knot. Wrap your yarn around your fingers. Insert your hook like this and pull that part of the yarn. Now tighten around your hook. There are many ways to hold your hook and your yarn, but I just hold mine like this. Now we're going to chain 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. For the double crochet, we are going to yarn over first. And we are going to insert our hook to the third chain from the hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over again and pull through the other two loops. That is your first double crochet. Now for the next one. Yarn over. Insert your hook to the next chain. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through the other two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook to the next chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Go ahead and keep crocheting until you get to the end of your chains, and I'll see you guys there.
I am on my last double crochet of the first row. Okay, now to start the next row, we are going to chain two. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. Now we flip our work over. And we start working on the next row. Yarn over and insert to the last double crochet of the last row. Then we yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And we do that for the rest of the row, and every row after is exactly the same. All you have to do is chain two at the end and start on the next row. I did three rows myself and I encourage all of you to do the same. You can always re rewind the video and rewatch if you need to know how to do it again. But for now I am going to skip to the end and show you how to end your work. Set your hook aside, grab some scissors and a needle. Take your scissors and cut the long piece of yarn. Now pull it until it comes out, like so. Pull it tight so that it forms a bit of a knot. Now take your needle and thread the yarn through. Now we are going to thread it through random stitches throughout the work. There, that should be enough. Now just cut the rest of the end off. We do the same to the other end, and then you're done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!